In 2002, Mafia, the city of Lost Heaven, launched the Mafia franchise, a series of gripping crime dramas that spans multiple decades. Mafia, the definitive edition, is a complete remake of that influential game. A faithful recreation of the original, the Mafia remake revisits Lost Heaven at the height of Prohibition. The game's been built from the ground up by Hangar 13, with a team that includes many veterans from the 2002 version, as well as from Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. Our goal was to improve the game in as many areas as possible given advances in technology, game design, and storytelling since the original release, while still remaining true to the Mafia's story, characters, and spirit. The entire city has been rebuilt and even redesigned in some areas to provide more vistas and points of interest without losing any of the original game's landmarks. We wanted to bring the city to life with as much detail and atmosphere as possible, so we built the game on our proprietary technology, but added a number of new audio and rendering features, including a brand new lighting engine for the remake. Given that narrative is so important to the franchise as a whole, we used our state-of-the-art motion capture and facial likeness technology to recreate all the cinematics and added new scenes and dialogue to further develop many of the game's most beloved characters. With that said, our reimagining of Mafia stays close to the original story which tells the tale of Tommy Angelo, a cab driver who falls in with the mob by chance before rising to become one of Lost Heaven's most feared gangsters. Taking place over eight years during Prohibition and its aftermath, this is an epic crime story set against the backdrop of 1930s Lost Heaven, a Midwestern US city riddled with corruption. While the story centers on Tommy, one of the elements of the original Mafia that we all love is its rich cast of characters. So they're all represented here. Tommy's best pals, Polly and Sam, his love interest, Sarah, the mob boss, Salieri, and his consigliere, Frank, the mechanic, Ralphie, weaponsmith, Vinny, and dogged detective, Norman, all return. Knowing the importance of both gunplay and driving to the Mafia franchise, we redesigned all of the core gameplay throughout the game, while keeping all of the missions, major mission beats, and underlying narrative intact. We've also included an extensive selection of period authentic vehicles, including motorcycles and there's a wide range of weapons, again, all based on weapons from the air. As with the original Mafia, the heart of the definitive edition is its missions. We've worked very hard to ensure that each mission has its own unique feel and memorable set pieces inspired by the original game. We'll now take a closer look at one of those iconic missions, a trip to the country. This mission takes place about halfway through the game. Tommy has already established himself as a valuable member of the Salieri crime family. Unfortunately, the Salieri crew is struggling to make ends meet as a rival mob, run by Don Morello, has cornered most of the city's major rackets. Their fortunes might be about to change, however, with the arrival of a shipment of whiskey from Canadian bootleggers. All Tommy and his partner Polly need to do is travel to a farm outside of town where they will meet Sam and the trucks carrying the bootleg whiskey. But from the moment they arrive, it's clear that something's gone wrong. Let's go find them. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. Catch up with you. Mafia is a franchise rich in atmosphere and tone. For the Mafia remake, we wanted every mission to exemplify this. A Trip to the Country is our haunted house mission, designed and built to create a sense of foreboding as you search for Sam. Place is derelict. As with the original, Mafia is mostly a narrative-driven experience. However, we still offer some opportunities to explore locations like the farm, where you can find clues that help flesh out the game's backstories and subplots, along with a range of period-appropriate collectibles. Where the hell are you hiding? Though a trip to the country is heavy on narrative and atmosphere, like most missions, it's also punctuated with action. Hey, buddy. Jesus. <laughs> 
drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I gotta pin down! Get over here now! Combat is a key part of every Mafia experience. And while not every mission features gunplay, it is a centerpiece of a trip to the country. For the gunplay in the Mafia remake, we started with the visceral combat and core shooting mechanics of Mafia 3, but then tailored that experience to fit the Mafia narrative, time period, and characters. For example, because Tommy isn't a trained soldier like Mafia 3's Lincoln Clay, we wanted to create the sense that these are life and death gunfights and that every bullet counts. We'll have settings for players who just want to experience the story, but with our default settings, we wanted players to think about where they take cover, which weapons they use, and when they blind fire versus risking exposure by aiming down sights. Wow! Me, Tom! Holly, what took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts, the rest of the face down in the dirt, too. As in the original game, Tommy and his crew learn that Don Morella is trying to edge them out of the whiskey business, too. Though we've taken great pains to make that conflict and Salieri's role as underdog in the war much more apparent. Oh, Christ. Here cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. Yeah, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Now we'll jump ahead a bit as Tommy and Polly close in on Sam's location. When combat breaks out here, the player must use a combination of tactics and weapons to defend Sam. Get cover! Come on, fellas! Push through! Tommy, watch out! Where did these guys keep coming from? I'm out! Cover me! Gotta get to him. Sammy. Jesus, what have they got to do? I got clipped. Oh, Christ, that's a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. We'll get the truck, then we'll take it to the doctor. Hey, hey, we're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy. <laughs> Stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we have. Checking out over here. 
After defending Sam, Polly and Tommy must still escape the farm, which culminates in a dramatic chase, another hallmark of the Mafia experience. Polly? We got more company. Hurry, right, get in. Regis. Is this the battle? Tommy's back there somewhere. That thing back there is huge! Where the hell did they find that truck? So that's just a short glimpse of one of Mafia's many missions. There are more than 20 missions in all, which take place across the city and range from high-speed chases and races to violent confrontations and stealthy assassinations. We're very excited to get this into the hands of both new Mafia fans and diehard fans alike. And we're happy that we finally have all three games playable together on the same platforms in the Mafia trilogy. But it's the Mafia remake that has really been a labor of love for all of us at Hangar 13, and especially for those members of the team who worked on the original. So on behalf of the entire team at Hangar 13, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>